Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to see the concept of FTP task. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I have installed the FTP service on my local PC. I am having a Windows 7 PC. Now to add the FTP service, we can go to control panel. Over here we can go to programs, turn on and off Windows features. So let it wait for a minute. Go to Internet Information Services that is IIS. Inside IIS you will find FTP server. So I have enabled the FTP server on this PC, local PC. Now you can go to administrative tools. Then go to IIS. In IIS I have created a new FTP site. I have added a new FTP site. The name that I have provided to the, this FTP, FTP site is my FTP. And for this FTP site, the physical path that I have given is this one. Okay. That is, it is pointing to the FTP folder. Now, I have also assigned F authorization to this particular site that is FTP folder. I have assigned authorization of allow read and write to the administrator user and I am currently logged in as administrator user. So I will be able to access this folder. Now let us first of all test whether we are able to access this folder or not. So we are going to the FTP site on our local PC and I'm putting the administrator username and password and once I log in I can see that there is a sample FTP folder and inside the sample FTP folder there is a sample file and in the sample file I have written a sim single sentence this is a sample, FTP, sample file for FTP. Now let us go to our physical folder that is it's lying over here in FTP task is this is the folder. So this is the folder FTP folder which is mapped to the FTP site. Inside it there is a sample FTP folder and there is a our sample file. Now let us go to Visual Studio. Let us add FTP task. Let us double click it to configure it. Now first of all we will have to provide a FTP connection. So let us provide the IP address. So this is my local IP address. Also I have provided access to administrator user. So I will provide the username and password and click the test connection. So the connection has succeeded. Now let us provide the operation. So first of all we will receive the file. So in our FTP folder, this is the file, sample file. We want to receive this file into our local folder, which is right now blank. So we have specified the operation as receive files. Then we have to specify the local folder where we want to receive the file. So let us provide the local folder name. So this is the local folder where I want to receive the file. Now for the remote path that is the FTP path. Let us click this. It shows us that in on the re remote FTP folder there is a folder with the name sample underscore FTP underscore folder. So let us go inside it and this is our sample file which we want to receive. So let us click OK. Everything is configured. So now let us make our project as startup project, FTP project. Now let us execute. So now FTP project, that is FTP task is executed. So let us go to our folder, that is local folder. Now it should be having the sample file and it is having it. So we, this means 
that our receive task has completed successfully through our FTP task. Now, let us do one more thing. With the help of this FTP task, we have received the file. Now, let us send the file with the help of this FTP task. Now, for this purpose, let us go to our local folder. Let us rename this file to second file. Let us edit the file. Let us add something, right? Let us save it. So this is our new file which is lying in the local folder. And we want this file to be uploaded to our FTP folder in this particular folder that is sample FTP folder. So the second file should come over here. Now for this, let us go to our FTP task. Now let us change the operation. So let us say we want to send the file. Now which file do we want to send? So let us specify the file that we want to send. So from the local folder we want to send the second file. So this is the file that we want to send. Now in the remote path that is where do we want to upload the file. So we will say we want to upload the file to sample FTP folder. Okay, so now everything is configured. So let us click OK, let us save and let us execute our project. So now once the FTP task is executed, let us verify things in our physical folders. So in our physical folder, on the FTP folder, inside the sample FTP folder, we have got the second file. Right? And this file has been picked up from our local folder. Correct? So this means that we have been able to successfully send the file with the help of our FTP task. Friends, I hope that this video tutorial on FTP task is helpful to you. Thank you.